Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we get to be working on a subframe. This is our third attempt and final attempt. We have a plan how to do it right now. So let me show you what we're working on. This is a 2014 Mustang GT subframe and we are trying to fuse it to the 1954 Mercury. Uh, I did two previous videos where I kind of had an idea, but then it kind of didn't work out. But I mean, I was just trying to cut corners not to do extra work, but now we know what we got to do. So we are going to be cutting right here. Make sure that subframe actually bolts on the bottom of the rails. We're going to make custom new rails versus how I was going to do it. Just have a like partial rail and kind of slice this guy up here. But that wasn't the best option. Let me open this door. That wasn't the best option because I think the bolting and kind of welding and I'll be able to align it with the wheelbase would have been like a little bit tricky. But now we are gonna cut this new subframe, I mean new rails, and then we are gonna be mounting the subframe on the bottom of this video. So let's get to cutting, working, and finalizing this piece once and for all so we can move to the strut towers. All my measurements have been done, marked. This is where I'm going to be cutting it down. This is where the bottom of the rail is going to sit. It's going to come all equally across. And same thing I did on this rail as well. So this is going to be cut and it's going to come this way. But all of this is going to be eliminated because I'm going to be making new rails. And I have here a template how this thing is going to kind of look. And if you kind of see on the bottom, that's where the subframe is gonna bolt up. I have to redefine this a little bit better because I wanna make sure it's 100% accurate, but this is just kind of like, just kind of show. And then I'm also gonna box it up from this side. So right now I just have to chop this over here, do my CAD design on the cardboard, get it over here. It's gonna be like that, get it on here and then tack it in place, tack it in place. And then once I have that, I'm just gonna have to cut this whole thing out of here because I don't want this anymore. I'm just gonna have nice straight rails that are gonna be made out of 316. So that's gonna be my next step. Here is the cutout out of cardboard. I don't want to bore you with this, but I made a nice cutout. This is going to be traced onto the sheet metal, but here let me show you how it's going to look. So this is the rail. So it's going to sit, it's about right there, and it's going to come this way. So here, let me tape it up so you can see. Okay, that. here it is. This is how it's going to stay. And I got a little bit extra thickness here. So that way once I box this in, I'll have a nice solid rail because I want to make sure I have enough beef right here This because that's where it's going to be carrying the whole front end up. But yeah, so all this is going to be cut out and I'm going to run a square tubing on the bottom which is going to come up to this line because you can weld it to the edge so you kind of got to weld it a little bit up higher. And this is how it's going to look over here. So it's going to have like a little bit of curvature but once it's all like welded onto the two by three, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna chop this whole rail off. This whole thing is gonna go off and I'm gonna have another uh, 316 sheet coming off this side. So it's gonna be a nice boxed rail. It's gonna be boxed right here, up here on the top and a little bit here. So it's gonna look good. So you just gotta stay on the next thing when I'm gonna be cutting this, I'll show that and I'll show the rest of this. For all my visual people, here it is. I mocked it up. This is kind of giving you a 3D look on how it's gonna look right here. Obviously this whole thing is gonna be boxed in. So now I'm just gonna have to trace all this in onto the cardboard, I mean, onto the sheet metal. And then I have to cut it out. But yeah, this is how it's gonna be. This is gonna be in the bottom. I'm gonna have a 316s in the bottom as well so that way it clamps from all the sides. 
and yeah all it took is not to be lazy and design something like it's gonna function for a very long time and be sturdy enough for long drives so see that might be overkill but it's good enough for me So this has been marked, however I was thinking I could almost put this one like this because it kind of matches perfectly and I could mark it out but I'm just going to figure out how to cut this first. I actually bought a blade. This one, this is like a $40 blade, hopefully it can cut with this kind of saw. So we'll try that right now. Alright, let's try this safety goggles on. getting blasted with metal but actually cuts really fast holy moly First piece is cut, looks really good, thank god for Diablo Blade, however look at all this shrapnel on the floor, this thing was like flying through the air like a hot rain. The rest of this I'm just gonna do them off camera and once I'm done I'll show you the rest. Here is the left side, the driver's side frame rail. Now here is how it's gonna look. As you can see, I had a bolt on in there so that way it can stay where I want it to stay. And I'm also gonna utilize those two bolts hole as well. So pretty much this is how it's gonna sit. And then uh, I'm gonna have, to, once I tack this into, I'm going to have to chop this whole thing off and I'm going to make another rail over here so we're going to have nice two straight rails. So next thing you're going to see me is I'm going to I'm going to do off the camera. I'm going to grind this off the camera. I'm going to prime it and then I'm going to bolt it back up here and I'm going to tack weld it where I want it and also brace it up here so it's like a triangle brace along with floor stand so this is kind of standing where I need it to stand. And then I'm just going to chop this rail and build the other side, bolt it on, tack weld it, and tack weld this side. And then once that one is done, we're going to fully uh, weld everything and do the brackets on the bottom as well. So let's go.
Here is a major update since last time I recorded it. We have chopped up this rail right here. Recut these bad boys, welded them on slightly, and also bolted them on as well. And I also made two more cuts that are gonna go on outside right here. And this is how it's looking so far. So next thing for me is to take everything back down, uh, grind it down where I'm gonna weld it, and reattach this rail on outside and we should have a kind of complete rail and then we will be doing the fillings up here and underneath down here as well and covering this so it will have fully assembled the front end. I also made an X brace or maybe Y brace, V brace so the front end is staying still so that way I can weld it and make sure it's exactly where it's supposed to be and here this is how the frame is gonna look looks pretty good and from the side that side has got to go up a little bit more but pretty much that's how it's gonna stay took everything off now you can see how it actually looks here is the inner part of the rail and here it is from this side so now I will grind everything down this has been grinded I also painted with the well through primer but this will be touched up a little bit later i gotta build in a square forms in here so i can weld it in so everything else matches in and now i'm just gonna have to grind this bad boy down a little bit and get these ready and i bent these bad boys using a press progress update got the second rail or outer rail bolted on made the uh, caps on there as well and same thing on this side so now this is how she looks now I have to figure out where I need to grind here and then also I need to figure out how to build a kind of like top of the rail here so I'm gonna have to cut that piece out as well I'm gonna do the cardboard first and then put her here and then I'll cut the rest Here are a few more things bolted on, not welded yet. So now I just gotta build the tops just to cover the top of the rail. The side will be bolted right there. We weld it, and I'm gonna have to cut a triangle piece right here. I already have the caps. Looks pretty good. More updates. Here is the cutout of a cardboard that I'm going to be tracing onto the metal so that way I could use it on boat rails because boat rails are actually equal and that actually feels good when you do something right so it's like this perfect quick update now I just have to get the JV glue and we should be able to glue all this up Pretty fucking All right, first weld, it's are in, they're okay, nothing to brag about, but you know, that won't be, that doesn't even matter, because that's what's gonna be underneath this rail, right here, 
and I just needed to close that sedave when this bad boy here gets right there there's no hole in there all right so probably next thing is gonna be time-lapse the whole thing of me building so enjoy Final update before welding because this thing has came out a hundred times and back on all leveled I even pre-drilled the holes for the screws to run in and the screws are gonna go factory screws they're gonna go from the top down and they're gonna bolt this so next thing is I'm gonna tack weld it and once everything is tack welded 100% then I'll start welding everything so and that pretty much should conclude the front end and then next thing is building brackets for these side control arm holders and they're gonna be here so that's gonna be cool so let's get to tacking and um, see how far we get It's very hard to record but here is the weld pretty much we're not gonna be able to show all the welds because it's kind of hard to put a camera and also show and weld at the same time That was a lot of welding, nothing to brag about. This side is done, all the sides are done. The welds are not great because I couldn't like really maneuver around much and there was like a big hole that I had to fill in. Same story goes on this side, but nobody will see those. Stuff like this, it's easier to weld because you can maneuver a little bit left and right, but half of it, it's welded. So next thing is I'm gonna fill this gap right there and then put the top and I gotta weld it from inside, but I gotta remove the brace first. So once that is removed, we're golden. So next step is I gotta weld these caps on top. But before I do that, I'm gonna hit these welds with a self etching primer and paint them so that way they don't rust as well from the bottom if I can get to them. And then everything else after I'm finished welding will be kind of like sanded down and painted with a chassis paint. So, but I definitely wanna cover these right now so that they, they don't rust inside. And also made my holes as well for the subframe to be mounted from the bottom. Oh yeah, it's coming together pretty good, so. All right, fully painted. Got my screws in there as well. The next thing is the top. All right, we gotta weld it. So next thing is to take the X brace because I gotta weld that side right there. But so far, that's how she's gonna look, that's how she's gonna stay. And then obviously we're gonna paint it up, but yeah. 
All right, one more update, guys. Uh, we finished the brackets in the back over here. So let me show you what we made up. Uh, the back of the subframe needs to be bolted onto the chassis, but we don't have that part. So we made these brackets. They're just gonna go like this. And then we're gonna input this like that. And this one is gonna go like that. And obviously this will be welded to the uh, frame of the car and then this one will, where the bolts are gonna go. So I'll show you when it's done. Here is the welded piece. Uh, so next thing I have to do is drill two holes and literally I have to uh, weld it back to the frame and it's gonna sit like this. It's gonna be pretty solid when you look at it. It's gonna be pretty much tied in into the whole frame that we did here. But um, I'll save this for the next time. So on the next video, we're gonna be building a strut towers. So stay tuned and hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.